is Nick King, the 6'7 forward from Middle Tennessee State. Brownridge, catch and shoot three, and he's got two of them. Delaware in transition again. Brownridge down the right side off glass and a quick 8-0 start. Shannon Scott, the starting point guard, averaging better than seven boards per game as the three is knocked down by Brownridge. Long Island in front by six and make it three is Jared Brownridge knocks down a three-pointer to open up the court. Yo, as smart as he is, he found him. And Big Al Williams did the rest. Brown Lane and them guys, how happy are those guys with their younger guys down here? November of that year before he got called up by Brooklyn and now proving to be a quality eye out out of Seton Hall. And Randy, as you said, know him well from always did an unbelievable job on the other team's best player. Norvell Pell down low over Kendall Gray. A nice finish from Pell. G League more of a March Madness style until you get to the G League Finals. It's a single elimination early on in the playoffs, so it has that kind of passion and emotion that a March Madness NCAA tournament. But to get to that next level, you know, you need two or three things to, to do really good to make it at that next level. And that's why. Long, jump on board today and join the revolution. Visit Sixers.com slash Bluecoats. One free throw. And now here's a jam by Cam. At a rear view block. Jackson to Hogue to the corner. Here's Brownridge for three. And what a sequence for Delaware. Milton doing a nice job. Shake to the corner. Brownridge, another three. And a great setup by Shake Milton made a number of runs in this game. We'll see if they can come back again. First though, Delaware. Cam Oliver finishes strong. Your starters for Delaware, Norvell Pell, the big man in the middle, Matt Farrell, the point guard. Out into that right corner, the three goes down. That's Jared Brownridge. One and can you get a stop on this end? Brownridge around Jackson, gets the bucket and the foul.